Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I am the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. We got an elephant problem here. There's too many elephants. I've not seen our... Whatchamacallit? Um, F2. F2, you're gonna die, elephant. Let's let her get her. Let's let her get her stamina back. We'll finish this one off with the with the crossbow. Hopefully. Oh my gosh! Here she comes. She's coming back now. There we go. We got one down. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of elephants. So I put a trap up. I don't know if you guys can see it over there. I put the uh, the taming pen up over here. And I don't see any tigers down there. Of course, when I log out and log back in, the animals change. They got I got to wait for them to respawn and all that good stuff. But here they are. But there's a lot of elephants today. That's a 19. That one's going to take a little while to kill right there. Can't use nature's cry yet. We're taking barely any damage at all. Elephants fighting over territory. That's all it is to this other elephant over here. Just, just elephants fighting for territory. Let's see what we get. How much good stuff. Anyways, I'm hoping if I kill some of these off, I can encourage other animals to spawn in. So we get bone off the elephants, but not a whole lot. Whole lot of leather. Holy cow, that's a lot of leather. Did you see that? That's a ton. Well, we'll drop that. We're in the market for a tiger. If we could find a tiger again today and get a tiger to spawn in here, that would be just great. Uh, the dolphins are. What? Is this a dolphin level three? <laughs> okay, it's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Not quite sure what that's all about. So I'm going to keep doing this for a little bit, killing off some of the, the critters roaming around here and see if we can't get a tiger to spawn in down that grassy area. Well, I can actually hit this dolphin. I killed the dolphin. That's weird. Let's go ahead and get this guy softened up with maybe a little shot or two here. <coughs> Before we uh, jump into it with uh, Lucy here. Use nature's cry. There's an elephant trapped in our cage. Wonder what level it is. What if it would be a high level male? How crazy would that be? I'd go ahead and grab it. I would. Let's see what level he is. It is. Pfft, I don't think so. A level four? No, 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 no. No, I don't think so. Not a level four. Uh-uh. It's going to have to come out of there, though, for sure. Uh, let's get number three back out again. We should be reloaded. I think these are low level down here, too. Gonna watch this other elephant behind us here. I don't know if they get activated because of us. Doesn't look like they even bother anymore. I thought they were a type of animal that ganged up on you. Maybe they changed it, or maybe it's because I'm using an elephant to fight this elephant. It doesn't feel like it needs to step in. Uh, where are you going? Bam. Let's call this one on over too. We'll get this one taken care of. And then I think we've got just about... I think there's a few more just down below here. I 
can't seem to get that one to pull off on them. When you look a little left or a little to the right, she, she does the sweep. That seems to do the most damage, and it's the most knockback, too. Seems like. There's Scorpion coming in here for some action, too. I did not see it before. There we go, beautiful. Tell you what, I'm not getting very far very fast here. There's a lot of stuff to kill right in this area. What happened to my scorpion? Good news, I found gum on this island. Just found some in a tree there. And I also found um, olives. Matter of fact, I think they're in my inventory maybe. No, they're not. I must have put them on uh, Lucy here. But uh, yeah, found some olives as well. So olives and gum on this island. I wasn't sure if there was going to be gum on this island. I thought, geez, you should have grabbed a bunch of that. The ship was pretty weighted when we came over here. So I didn't want to do too much more weight on it. That would not have been a good idea. Uh, I'm, it's, it's dark. It's started to rain again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of grab up some building materials. I've got a little kind of a platform set up just right now. Uh, down by the beach and we're gonna go work on that a little bit and just get some kind of a place that we can get inside uh, and out of the elements a little bit if we need to oh it's a level one okay this is good to know though it's a level one tiger what's he going after we've got the trap set up pretty much a good spot looks like they spawn down here for sure We're definitely going to want to get rid of that guy right here. He comes. He's coming. Now, they usually come in twos. Let's back Lucy up a little bit. Yeah, they usually travel in twos. At least I always thought they did. Same with the lions. They always tend to be a couple of them running around together. It could be that the other one was low level and got killed. Uh, we don't want a level one tiger. That's just, that's settling for a little too low of a tiger right there. We get ourselves a better one and we know we can. Um, let's drop that in there and drop that off right there. <clears throat> let's go ahead and, yeah, let's back Lucy up to here. Let's put her on behavior neutral. Is there anybody else down here that might be interested in coming and seeing us? I think we really need to take a sweep across the island. Oh, there's something down here. Hold on, what is this? <clears throat> might be nothing. We got a boar down here, yeah. It's about the time you see the tiger come charging right up into your lens, huh? Okay, there could be... We need to go down this way. I would like to get up on this rock face, too, just to see what's going on up there. If there's anything for us up there at all. Uh, let's go back to attack your target. Oh, boom, there we go. Beautiful. Leaving these doors open, I'm hoping maybe we get lucky and one runs in there too, because they tend to get stuck and just kind of keep pushing forward. They don't, like, know enough to turn completely all the way around. Okay, this is very good. We, we, we see, we've seen two tigers now in this area, so this is great. We know it's inevitable that we'll, we'll wind up getting one, hopefully. That, this pig over here got himself stuck. we go I'm not gonna stop to harvest I'm kind of curious to get through here and kind of see what we have available to us these uh, these poplar looking trees these are definitely the guys we want to be checking to see what they have use your pick because that's gonna show you the fruit that's on it 
This is gum. Okay, these are gum trees. Fantastic. I'm gonna grab up a bunch of this gum. Let's do a few of these trees real quick. Get them and then get them started a, a regrowing, coming back. And we'll keep our eyes open for the uh, the tiger. <laughs> the tiger. Let's go ahead and have Lucy uh, follow us too. It's always nice to have Lucy following, just in case. Uh, here's some more gum. This should keep us tied it over for a little bit. Is, do I see any more of these trees really close by? I do right over here. One more. One more and then we'll call it on the gum trees. Now I know what exactly what I'm looking for. And we have a level. Let's put that into stamina. Been doing a lot of stamina. So I can keep moving. Um, okay, and I, we've had some horses spawn in too. Nothing, nothing very big or anything like that. Let's see if we can get up here and see what's up on top of this. Let's go number six. We'll use Lucy's back here to get us up here. I'm going to have to swing out a lot farther than that. Oh, maybe not. Is, is it going to let me do that? No. Okay. That's not going to work. Let go. Let's try that one more time, and we'll go up over here instead, where we can actually get up over the top of this, hopefully. I do like this island. I'm glad you guys are cool with it, too. I like it. it I like the look of it. It's just got a totally different look. It's very tropical. You know, M8 is a cool tile, I think. I'm going to have fun. Oh, 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 oh. Lucy, you stay right there, darling. I'm curious if there's anything up on top of these. They like to hide stuff up high. They surely do. We're going to be able to make this jump. We are. Okay, beautiful. Doesn't look very promising, does it? Does not look very promising at all. This is a cool uh, chunk of rock, though, that's for sure. You can see the other islands out here. That's the original one we were on. We've got the uh, kind of the reefy looking one over there, and then we've got some more over on this side here. One there, one there. There's eight islands in M8. I don't see anything on this rock that would suggest it was gem or crystal up on top of this right here. You know that? I don't see anything that would suggest it to me. That's a little unfortunate. I would, I wish I had uh, found that gem that you uh, took a photo of and put the pick, and then you put the uh, coordinates on there. I wish I had found that because uh, a lever would be really nice to have for the taming pen. Oh, what if you said you ran on a rope once doing this? Sliding down. I've not had that happen yet. <laughs> so I guess I feel pretty lucky to have not had that happen yet. Just because we didn't see Jim right up there does not mean there's not some on this island. Now for me, that tiger was kind of in a bit of a position where it was going to be difficult to get her to go back and get into the trap. That's it. Push your way through here. These trees right here, I love these trees. We definitely need to get ourselves a Jeffrey. She's just pushing them over right now. Rattlesnake. You see leaves falling? I see leaves falling in the, in the air here. More elephants. See, that's the thing about the elephants is, man, they tend to kill off the tigers, and the tigers go after the elephants, and it's never a good thing. This is never a good thing. 19. There's a 4. Uh, 
before. Yeah, these are all pretty small, small potatoes. This guy here was in a fight, though. See, that's what I'm concerned about. What were you fighting and what did you kill that caused this much damage to you? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. That's right over here in the bushes. I see what it is that he was fighting. There's a boar. What were you guys fighting that the boar lost to, but the elephant won? I'm not seeing another animal. I realize I'm not carving them up. I'm really here to do uh, some good exploring, mostly. Uh, okay, there's a tiger up ahead. Level 9 female. Well, she's, it's coming up, but it's not... Not the level we want. We would like I would like something in the teens, at least. There it goes. Yeah, see that's that's the problem. It, they they go after the elephants when they get just close enough and the elephants just wipe them out. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Let me go through the scope and you can see. It it's a it's a thing. You can see that that tiger is just not gonna make it. There's no way. It's gonna be de it's dead right now. So, as soon as they bump into one of these elephants, they are doomed. That's why I think down on that end, if we keep the elephants, if we keep the elephants dead over there, we should do better and get a chance of getting one of these tigers. It would be really nice to have a tiger when we go to the other islands, just to have it as a, a backup to me while I'm there. It's a shame it was a pretty one, too. So elephants and tigers and boars. Boars are pretty much a staple of all the islands, I do believe. That's your early meat, your hide, all that stuff. Bone. We kind of cruised the edge of the island, but we didn't actually come down the center here. I feel pretty safe on Lucy. Let's see what we've got right here. Nothing with that. Frongs and strong wood, okay. Nothing we don't already have. I'm kind of wondering if we're going to bump into another tiger spawn area. Uh, here's a different looking rock, possibly. It gets very dense right in here. Look at this. Okay, cool. Cobalt. We've got two metals. We have iron and cobalt on this island. We only have the one wood so far that I've found. Doesn't matter what kind of tree it is, it's just the one kind of wood. The trees falling over sound a lot like the uh, rattlesnake moving. Okay, there's an elephant over here fighting something. Sometimes you get lucky and you find a tiger just stuck. <laughs> he's got some alpha here. Oh, he's got an alpha cobra. We're going to let him have at that. I remember the first time I played this game, the first island I landed on, I tamed up some hogs. And the first thing, one of the first things I encountered was an alpha cobra. <laughs> it killed both of my tames. And then came after me. Oh, those were the days. This island is really cool. Let's take a look at our map. Where are we at? Okay, we've almost come all the way down to the end here right down the center I 
Oh, you know what I've not tried? What about these trees? Do these have anything different on them? Fronds and strongwood, yeah. No, nope, it's nothing different. It's nothing different. That's a bummer. Only the one type of wood here. I think the strongwood is the only kind of wood we've found, too, so far. I think I'm going to wrap down this way and then kind of circle back around a little bit just so I get an idea as to what this looks like out here. I see you there, treasure map. We're going to get to you. We're going to have to get to the treasure map probably in the next episode. We're going to have to do something about the gold. Uh, here's a chicken. Can't really take a chicken with us, though, right now. We'll wait for one to spawn closer down to where we are. Today's all about getting a better comb of the island and, and what it's all about and what it's got. And it's got a lot of stuff. Now, is this the gum tree as well? Let's see. Gum, yeah. One of the trees I knocked down earlier was olives. I've not run into one of those again. Yet. Sip my coffee real quick. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves on Atlas. I am. Uh, it's something I'm going to start doing on a regular basis with Atlas. There is a file that keeps getting removed from my game. Every now and again it happens. And when you verify the files through your Steam, uh, it says it finds one file missing, it replaces that file. And I don't have any issues. It's when you don't do that regularly that I think you start having some problems. And I don't know what that file is or why it gets lost or what it is, but it happens every now and again. So I would highly recommend that because I'm hearing people are losing their, their games and saves and stuff again. Uh, and I'd hate to have that happen. This is Coco. Coco, yeah. All right, sweet. There's Coco down here on this other side. Very nice. The metal nodes are plentiful, that's for sure. This actually looks a little deeper in between these mangrove trees here. A little bit deeper. We're going to do a little bit of building today, too. I want to get a little something set up on shore there. I've got just a very minor foundation thing set up at the moment. So this doesn't really look like it's much land out here, huh? Where am I on the map? We should be kind of... Yeah, we're out here on what is the end of this area. Which is beautiful. Coco down here on this end. Okay, very cool. What? Else? Anything else? We're going to be spending a lot of time here, so I, I'm not worried about not seeing everything today, but I would like to know a lot of the bigger stuff that's here. Uh, we're going to have to go back around that mountain. Okay, I'm going to keep moving about. If I find something different, I'll bring you back. So we've got Coco as well. Uh, we've got the chickpeas here. I believe I found chickpeas on this island. So we're doing okay food-wise. We've got everything we need food-wise. Oh, this is that Alpha Cobra. He's just chewing through all kinds of stuff out here. I'm going to F2 this guy. Cause a little more damage. He'll keep coming for it, too. We're just going to take our time. This alpha is going to be a nice little, uh, nice little addition to the uh, XP we're going to get. What is it, level 208? Gonna have to work on getting that nature's cry up a little bit, too. The big stomp. There we go. Got it. Nice. Some points for sure. Uh, stamina. Woohoo! Nice work. Nice work. We are going to get a lot of material off of that snake. For sure. This here Viper is going to be worth a lot of stuff. 
Watch it roll in. That scale number is going to go up. We're, we're set on hide and stuff right now. Between the elephants and this, oh my gosh. But it gives us a nice supply. You want three different kinds of it, right? If you're going to do the journeyman right away. Look at that. Holy cow. Over 500. 600. I'm wearing my axe out on this guy. Holy crap. That's up over a thousand now. Twelve hundred. <laughs> Thirteen. I'm tired. I can't keep swinging. I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, okay, so that's crazy. Oh, there's another tiger. Oh, level 216. Oh, it's an alpha. Uh-oh. I've been running too. Oh, tiger's underneath me. I'm gonna try to run. Not looking good. Come on, Lucy, you can do it. Outrun this tiger here. Ooh, Alpha Tiger. Bad news. Bad news. We gotta get this nature's call back. The tiger gave up, it looks like. Woo! Woo! Close one. Oh, boy, that was a close one. F4. F3. Nature's cry. Nature's cry. Now we're going to get a little bit of health back. <clears throat> okay, I see that tiger down there. Oh, it's coming. It's coming at me right now. I need to, I need to get some room in between us and it. Maybe I can get some rocks in between us or something, hopefully. Was not expecting to run into an alpha tiger. Get myself back over here, maybe I'll be okay. Well, you're looking for a tiger and you really find one, don't you? Elephant, level. Um, there's that tiger again. Oh, crap. Oh, he's still coming at me. He's coming back after me right now. I haven't healed up at all. Can't seem to get my stamina back. He sure does want a piece of Lucy, doesn't he? He's got a piece of Lucy. All I managed to do is drag him all the way down to our camp. It's back in there somewhere. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have dragged it back there either, but what are you going to do? F3. Set my coffee there. Whew. Yeah, that just about did Lucy in. That cat hits with a hard, hard punch. I'm wondering if I can get Lucy on the ship. Okay, I see the tiger over there. I see it now. It's 
It's walking along that stone wall just beyond the mangroves there. Lucy, quit moving around. Life or death matter here, lady. He's over there somewhere. He will annihilate everything that's in this area. If I can get the Ecuador and Tug move forward, we'll have enough room to get her slid on there, and then I can figure out what I'm going to do about that tiger. You over here. Let's get you over here. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Lucy's safe. I'm safe. Everybody's safe. Whew. You can see I put a little platform right over here. I've got a chest. I've just been throwing everything into that one chest. It's the start of what's going to come down and along here. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to maybe put our place back in the mangroves, in the shady area kind of back there, and kind of lead back. And we'll put something up on stilts back in that mangrove area. All this is going to come up. It all has to come up a few blocks up off the ground and be a little bit higher. So as we pull in, um, we've got room for a dock on both sides of it. Just saw him again. He's hard to get a beat on. There he is right there. Level 216. Holy crap. I can't do anything with a with an alpha tiger. What the heck am I supposed to do with an alpha tiger that's hanging around here? It's almost... I, I don't even have what I need to, to be able to kill it. You know, crossbow bolts are not going to kill that thing. It's, it would take forever to do that. I'll be back. Now, I'm not sure if I record it or not, but we had an alpha tiger. Level 2, 15, 216, something like that. Almost kill Lucy down here. We swam down here, got close, uh, dragged the tiger back inside these mangrove trees, got her back on the ship. She's all healed up. I tried to fight it with a crossbow. That did not go very well. It came up to the side of the boat and hit me through the boat, so I decided that was not an option. So I've been kind of just hanging out all night, and it went out and around these rocks right here and just kind of disappeared. So I'm guessing it's just on the other side of those rocks, but I'm back out kind of working a little bit and trying to get things fixed up so we're ready to go uh something about the crew there you can see he's very hard at work right now working on the the deck of the, sh the ship he is only they are the crew members are only repairing the side walls of the ship okay not the floor not the sails not the the chests or anything else of the ship they just take care of these walls right here the outer edge which of course is the most important you can see this is all six thousand now yeah, like it should be all the way up to the fullest extent, 6,000. So they kind of uh, start on one end and work their way around the ship. So it was down a little bit, so I thought, well, let's go ahead and get him up and working. And it looks to me like he's gotten the whole thing fixed. So I can actually take him and put him back on the speed sail, and he can just sit right there. Now, in terms of cost, I don't think by leveling them up, it's costing me more. One of you said it probably costs more out at sea because they are working. I, I would go with that. Um, I would go with that thought at 6.3 hours every 6.3 hours they get paid we've got a little over what do we got here for gold 58 so that's gonna buy us a little bit of time not much I don't want to stay here for very long or I really what we learned last season is it's nice having all the animals together uh, that we need for the building part of the game uh, as quickly as possible I'm gonna put Lucy over here on shore with us She's holding some pieces of stuff. 
uh, the nice thing is we know we have more elephants here. If we if we had to replace Lucy, we don't want to have to, but if we did, at least we could. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to come up with kind of a way to raise us up off the ground. There's those uh, olives I was talking about. Um, I can't do anything about those rocks. I don't think I can do anything about these rocks, right? Oh, I can. I don't know that it matters. I don't think you're going to be able to see down here anyways, but what the heck. We'll, we'll, we'll do it just because sometimes you will and sometimes you won't be able to. Six. Uh, no, we actually want the foundations. Five. There we go. One there. One there. One there. One there. And one there. Uh, we're going to have an under area here that we'll be able to do something with down the road. Mostly what this is is, of course, the ocean would is going to rise up when we have our storms. There is a big fish right out there. Big fish. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, just going to go up by one. And everything's going to be built up one above this level right here. So what I'm going to do is every two is come along and do this, this, I don't know why you're doing that. Did it do it over here? It did not. It's because it's seeing one side or the other. So you just got to be careful about it. So if I hit Q, you can see it pulled it back. If I hit Q again, it's going to flip it around to where it can go. And we just want to make sure we have the dark, the yellowish color on the outside, the white on the inside. I'm going to build the dock out of wood. I like the idea of wood. And these are going to be the pillars that are going to hold up everything above it. Uh, back to number six. So if I do that right there, I think we might... I don't think we're going to be able to keep this rock here. No, we're not going to be able to. Let's go ahead and get the uh, cobalt out of it. Yeah, let's get the cobalt out of it. So we start storing up some of this as well. Then we'll have a nice supply of two different kinds of metal. So we're going to get that rock out of here. you out of here, rock. I want to get us up off the ground. After having that alpha tiger again, I'm not sure if I recorded it or not. I hope I did, but if I didn't, sorry about that. <laughs> um, some more walls. Where are the walls? I can craft a wall. I need wood, thatch, and I need wood? Wood. Oh, let's craft up nine more of those. There we go. Beautiful. What was I saying? Just that fast. Just that fast. I want to get a... L well, let's let's go back to what I was originally talking about, I think. is I want to get this just a little bit set up so we've got a place above sea level to be on. And then you're going to go right here. And we have to hit Q to pull it in. No, right here. There we go. And Q. There we go. They seal up real nice on the seam. I like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over the top of these guys with this here. This is number six. It likes to... Okay, wants the green arrow that away. That's fine by me. Yep, okay. Like so. Is that right? That is not right. I didn't think so. I just had it sitting in the right direction. We'll do that right there. Okay, so we'll be this far up off the ocean. I think this is going to be high enough to be able to pull the bounty in. I really need to be up on top when I'm placing these floors. I really do. Let's get some more of those made. What do we need? We need thatch and fiber. Okay, I think I've got enough thatch and fiber to kind of get us... Ooh, maybe not. Fiber went down quick. Uh, let's go with the ceilings. Try two more, that's it. Okay. All right, that's okay. That's all right. Oh! Six... go like so do I not have any more fiber on you really wow I could have sworn I had a lot more than that went up and picked up a whole bunch that's okay we can come right over here I need to be careful though 
I'm hoping he'll go away. I know once I log off and log back on, he'll despawn. Yeah, you give me an Alpha Cobra, I'm fine with that. But that Alpha Tiger, holy cow. So close to killing Lucy, it was unbelievable. By the way, this is a great way to run down your food. Great way to run down your food. If you're having trouble, I know some people just die and then reset their vitamin buff. I don't like to do that. I think I think it's very doable. Uh, if anything else, stand someplace and hit the uh, es uh, escape key, delete key. That'll make you yell, and you can just drain your food and your water and all that stuff, and then and then rework it so it comes back up again and, and looks good. And it's at a healthy stage. See, this is where we need the bear. <laughs> A bear would just walk right in here and whap. We would have fiber for days. And that's going to be the goal is to get off it, off this island and go get the other ones we need. I do need some place to park Lucy where she's going to be safe. I think if I build a container kind of like what we've got for our trap, it would be probably big enough for her to just be, just be in and I can close the door. And then she would be tucked away all nice and safe in there. That's what I'm thinking. Got a little bit of fiber. Let's go over here. I'm running out of time. Got started kind of late today. Woo! But I can't resist coming in and playing some of this inventory. Uh, wood ceiling. Oh, I need the wood. Uh, Lucy, do you have wood on you still? You do. You do, you do, you do. All right, 13 of them. There we go. That's great. That's going to help a lot. I gotta move that chest and get that out of the way. Uh, we've got him showing up in our hot bar here. See how it flips around? You really gotta watch for that. It likes to do that. Uh, we should be able to hit Q. Doesn't really matter which way this way they go, but you wanna make sure you get it in here the correct way. There we go. I'm looking at the green arrow just to make sure it's either pointing uh, what is this, east and west? As long as it's pointing east and west, I'm good with it. But it has a mind of its own sometimes. It wants to jump around on you, so you gotta, you gotta be careful, that's all. Sometimes you can just kind of turn your character a little bit, and it'll adjust that. But you gotta watch that arrow. There we go. Now we're now we're talking. Okay, so I've got a couple of boxes. Let's get these guys set up next. Let's put one right here. We'll put one right here next to it. We've got a smithy on the ship that I can place up here as well. Let's go grab that and get that placed also. That way we can have the smithy also to drop drop stuff into and then we don't have to run back to the ship in order to craft things let's grab this guy uh somebody also asked about the feeding trough i'm pretty good about making sure everyone's got food on them so i i check them pretty regularly he's getting kind of low i just put a bunch of fa uh fish on scab squatter because he's got berries so everybody's got food on them and, and the crew eats out of the larder so we don't have a whole lot of animals just yet Ooh, what do we got here Fish meat and skin, huh? Yeah, I don't want the fish meat or the skin. It's okay. Oh, we had a dolphin die here first thing today when I got on. It just kind of went belly up right here where we're building. Six. A smithy. Okay, beautiful. Let's put the smithy right about here next to these chests. So it's nice and handy for us. We are going to have to get a forge going as well. That looks pretty well placed, I think. Uh, it's kind of inf infringing on this over here. Let's get a few more of these uh, ceilings made. Let's drop that on you. We'll drop all that stuff on you. And we've got walls. I've got a few walls. What do we need? Thatch and wood. Ay ay ay. We have neither of those things. We've burned through all that stuff that she had on her. That's okay. It's all right. That's why we're here, right? Part of it is the relaxation of uh, gathering up the wood. And then I want to check the, the trap one more time also. Okay, the 
boar is gone. I was trying to avoid hitting that boar. Uh, I should probably actually do this first. Get a bit more of this here first. Yeah, I was talking about the food. Just, you know, find something to do that makes your food go down. I did put another point into fortitude. So that's going to have an impact on, you know, our temperature, how much food we eat, all that stuff. But as you can see, if I'm as I'm in here doing this, my stamina is draining pretty quick over there on the right-hand side. Once it gets down to a certain point, uh, my stomach's going to start dropping too. So it's not hard to make that happen. And if you hit the delete key, I'd say drain your stamina two, three times. It gives you plenty of room in your stomach usually to eat and just fill that back in again. And then you can get your vitamin buff back and all that good stuff. And we'll be working on getting some better foods too. Once we get a little place kind of set up for us to call home. Uh, but once I do that, I really... I need to focus. There's so many things I need to focus on. I really would love to get the tiger. We really need that tiger to take on the ship with us. And that's about the only animal I think I would take with us. Let's get a little bit of wood too. She's just so great at this. I keep an eye on it down by the by the uh, the tiger tame area. I, I keep an eye over there just to see if maybe I get lucky and I see something. See some dead rays down the beach. That should be enough to get us by. Let's see. What do we need? About a dozen more of them, maybe? Looks like we've got two kinds... Oh, the thatch is the bark. That's right. We've got two kinds of uh, thatch here. Sixteen of them. That should get us by just fine. And I think what I'll do is I'll put a ladder on here initially. There we go, number inventory, there we go, right there, number seven. You don't want to go the right way, I understand. But if I hit Q, there you go, now you're going the right way. All right, beautiful. Okay, so we've got that sealed off, that's fantastic. All right, let's go number six. You know what? Let's caddy corner the smithy a little bit instead of having it straight in here. Let's do something like this right here. Like so. There we go. All right. Now I'm up off the ground. I think if a tiger were to come along here, it would not be able to jump up and actually get me. So we've got a way to get up here. Uh, inventory. Let's get a ladder made. Uh, what am I missing? Wood. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump down. Let's make two. Okay, what we're gonna do with this ladder is we're gonna put this guy right. We're gonna put one right here, and we're gonna put one right down here, next to the wa next to the water, loose sea. Like that, and I can I climb that? I can't climb it. I think I gotta actually have the hatch there. Yeah, I think I've gotta have a number seven. And then we need to go T. No, that's not right. I need the um This is right. There it is. There we go. And then number six. Now we can put the ladder on this and we can get up. So we're going to do that there. These may stay. They may not stay. I don't know. We'll see. Q. And then back to number six. There we go. Just a way to get up in case I'm being chased and I can get up this way. Now, this is going to continue on down the beach here. And it, I made it nice and wide. That way we've got... We, we know we need plenty of room for Velma. She's the biggest, right? She's the biggest of the animals we're going to have. The giraffe is just super tall. It, it's wide as well, but it's a little more manageable in terms of walking on paths. And then the rhino, he's massive. He's my least wanted 
uh, creature at the moment. What I really want is a Jeffrey, our, our giraffe. I want to get our giraffe, and I want to get a bear. We need those for the building. We need one for the thatch, we need one for the fiber, and that's what we need them for. And that's what we want them for. Let me go ahead and back you up a little bit, Velma. Or Lucy. Velma was last season. Let's do that right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload all this stuff. And then we're going to go down and check and see if maybe, just maybe, we have a uh, tiger down there that we can get a hold of. That did not take long to do. Do I have things on my inventory I don't need? No, we're good to go. All right, let's go see if we've got another tiger down here that we could possibly get a hold of. And we're going to keep an eye on over here. I think it despawned. I don't know how the alphas work. As of yet, I have not experienced anything so hot that it makes me have to go jump into the water. I get hot, which I'm sure has an impact on my food and water and all that stuff, but I'm not losing any health. Last time we saw a tiger down here, it was right in this area. Right over here. I see a boar. I see an elephant way up on the rocks there. Again, it, it always seems like when I go out to look for something to tame, it rarely happens. It's always kind of an opportune type thing. They do spawn up on those rocks. I see an elephant way up there roaming about. Uh, do I know? Oh, I don't have my spyglass on. Let's see what's up there. Level six. Yeah. Oh, I thought I saw something. Yeah, I don't see anything zipping around down there or doing anything. It could be the, the tigers were have been replaced by something else now again. Animals are always killing each other off, so eventually there's going to be a tiger down here. And because it's such a goal to get, I will be keeping my eye open for it for sure. Uh, but I don't think a tiger is in the cards for us today. Alpha Seagull, you can stay here as long as you want. I see a bull down there is what I see. I've got a boar over here. Yeah, it looks to me like maybe our tiger spawn. Again, the elephants, they really kind of ruin it. They really do kind of ruin it. Getting a tiger into the pen without having it be killed by an elephant first is going to be a bit of a challenge, I think. But we'll, we'll, we'll accomplish it. We'll get it. But right now, I don't see anything back there. I'm going to have to kill everything off again and all that good stuff. You know. You know how it is. But let's let's go. We'll go back. To, I'm going to go back to the, the, the base, the uh, the lair. And uh, I'll, I'll give you kind of a picture of this, if you will, because I've got a bit of a picture in my head as to what it is I'm going to be going for here. So odds are we'll consume a large chunk of this area right here. We'll bring this across, of course down to here and and just make sure that we've got a place that we can pull our ships up to i think a galleon might even be able to get up pretty close to shore here which would be you know fantastic uh i've never made a galleon never sailed a galleon so i don't know i'm just thinking this shoreline is beautiful for big ships because it's got a really nice nice angle to it as the as it uh, as it slopes away from the island the, the ground the sand um so yeah i see this stretching across this way with our waterside stuff built up this high now i would like very much to continue this over at least this bit of it right here for our place and bring it back over to that rock right there and have it kind of in the water and be above the water so that when we're in our own quarters we have the sound of water going on maybe that's going to be the future um kind of a shipyard uh, what do we call it harbor master uh, harbor master quarters kind of back over here right where the ship is and then the, the next stage we have to do i really need to take it into consideration right away and as soon as possible 
uh, probably next episode, is we need to take the schooner, the bounty, and we need to bring it in here and line it up with this as best we can. I think one of the best ways to do that is to prop... Oh. You're going the wrong way. Man, I tell you. I don't know how things like that get past me. There you go. Okay, that's better. Every now and again, you'll catch me doing that. Every now and again. So, really, well, the best thing to do here is to... Let's grab these guys right here. Number six. We're going to bring this out as far as we can. It won't let me place there. So, I'm going to have to do something down here to get this to go. And I know what to do to do that. Every two, every two blocks, we're going to have a post. Even numbers. I know. I was thinking about going with the odd numbers, but I think I'm going to stick with even numbers. And every two, we're going to have a pillar, hopefully, that goes down into the ocean. And we're going to be able to drag this out a little bit. Uh, about how far do we think we're going to be able to go with this thing here? Just being careful of what's swimming around out here. Uh, we've killed a swordfish out here. I think if we got out to about here, that would be pretty nice. It's pretty deep. But I think if I can rig it to get this to come out this way... It would be really nice to be able to just pull the ship in and have a bit of a landing on either side of us so we can come off the ship and have room to, you know, pull the animals and stuff like that around on the docking out here. Uh, and then we'll put, like I said, our quarters back here. But I want this area to be large so we have plenty of space for Lucy's and or giraffes and things like that so they've got room not to mention we need room to be able to turn the carts and stuff too that are going to be on the back of the bears and that go on ecuador and stuff like that all that needs to be taken into consideration too so we need plenty of space so this is just kind of a rough idea something for me to look at and think about while i'm driving to work tomorrow's thursday so it's my longer day at work so i've got to drive and everything uh, it just gives me an opportunity to do that now i'm pretty sure if Oh, uh, how can we how can we go about doing this? I think should I be using walls or should I be using the poles? I feel like I should be using the poles going down from here, and then we can cover them up with the walls afterwards. But right there is where I need to go next. So we'll work on this together, getting this taken out, or I'll get it kind of figured out on how to do it, and then I'll show you guys how I do it. And then what we're going to do, we we'll have to pull the bounty in alongside this edge, bring her, the bow, right up to here, and see how she fits. Okay? And then we'll be able to actually unload probably things on the, uh, what would that be, the, the, the right side of the ship. The stern, no, not the stern. Uh, starboard the starboard side uh, on this side over here we'll be able to unload from this side here anyways that's the idea and then next thing too is we just need to get enough material together to put some kind of a little tiny uh just a little tiny place here for the moment to get us kind of started some place that we could put a bed down in our own chest so that we can throw our own personal stuff in it and things like that right back in here and i would like to get the grill going as well the grill with a uh, water reservoir going so that we have a way to uh, cook and stuff a little bit earlier this season than we did last season. I think, what is she? She's three, She's the deck of the ship is three, almost four blocks wide. So one, two, three, four. So really, she's going to need a little more space. One more, and then we'll be able to go over that way. So I'm going to need to get a few more foundations and extend this out just a little bit further, I think. Uh, so that we can get her docking area kind of started here along with our living quarters and uh, You know work towards getting that tiger tamed Once we get the tiger tamed uh, then of course we could do whatever we want to do um, Here we're always gonna have tigers. They're always gonna be showing up. So there's always a chance we get better ones as we go I would however like to get the bounty I don't know who I'm going to take either. I'll probably get stuff together for a trap. And if we go by an island and I see giraffes, you guys say use the billboards. 
we could use billboards maybe and knock out a giraffe and tame it and uh, and get it uh, and, and bring it back here. I want to get those animals together as soon as we can. That's going to have to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.